Hi, I'm Anthony Vaughn with the Product Marketing Team for Texas Instruments Hercules Safety Microcontroller Group. Today, I'm going to introduce and show you how to use Halcogen, TI's tool for generating initialization and peripheral driver code for Hercules Safety Microcontrollers. Halcogen has been in development at TI for over eight years and has recently had many new features added to enhance the user experience. If you do not already have Halcogen, you can download it from the tools and software area on the website ti.com slash Hercules. Halcogen can also be installed directly from the software DVD that is included in all Hercules USB development stick and Hercules development kits. I'm going to start out with a quick overview of Halcogen's features. Halcogen's graphical user interface was designed with ease of use in mind. After starting a new project, users will see the interactive block diagram view of the microcontroller that can be used to select the module for configuration. The tool also features ribbon navigation near the top of the screen that can be used as an alternate method for selecting modules for configuration. Each peripheral screen contains intuitive diagrams to help the user select their desired options. All communication and PWM peripheral screens feature timing diagrams to assist in configuration of baud rate and duty cycles. There is also an extensive embedded help menu to assist in tool and generated driver usage. Halcogen also features native support for multiple compilers, including TI's ARM compiler that's integrated into Code Composer Studio, as well as IAR and ARM's compiler included in the Kyle integrated development environment. Another great feature about Halcogen is automatic updates. When connected to the internet, the software will periodically check to see if an updated version of Halcogen is available and then give the user the option to download and install it. This ensures that users can quickly and easily obtain the latest version of the software to take advantage of driver enhancements and additional device support. To start the Halcogen application, go to the Windows or Start menu and select Programs, Texas Instruments, Hercules, Halcogen. Once Halcogen loads, a start screen will be visible that contains a variety of useful links to information about Hercules microcontrollers. To start using Halcogen, select File, New, Project. Once the new project window has opened, the device family and specific device must be selected. Then the name of the project can be entered along with the location for all the generated code to be stored. The final step in setting up a new project is to select the tool set that will be used during compilation and debug. The default is the Texas Instruments tools. However, other compilers and tool sets like IAR and Kyle ARM tools can be selected. I will now walk you through the process of starting a new Halcogen project. In Halcogen, the first step is to create a new project. We do this by clicking on File, then selecting New Project. In the New Project window, we select our family and device. For this example, we will select the TMS570 LS31 family, and then the TMDX570 LS3137 USB device. Next, we enter the name of our project in the Name field. We will call this project Example. We can also choose the directory where Halcogen will store its generated files using the Location field. The Tools Selection menu at the bottom of this window can be used to select the development toolset that will be used for project compilation. Supported toolsets include Texas Instruments Code Composer Studio, the Kyle ARM toolset, and the IAR toolset. We will leave this field set to Texas Instruments Tools since we will be using Code Composer Studio. Next, we click the OK button, and Halcogen will start the new project configuration for us. In this view, we will see a block diagram of the microcontroller. We can navigate through Halcogen by either using this block diagram or by using the tabs located near the top of the screen. The first configuration step is usually to go to the Driver Enable tab. Here we can select which drivers Halcogen will create for us. We can select and deselect all drivers by clicking on the box on the right. Then we can individually select the drivers we want to enable. For this example, I will enable the SCI2 driver. The next step in Halcogen is to configure the specific module driver. To do this, we click on the SCI2 tab, and in the SCI Data Format sub-tab, we can configure this module. It is currently set up to use a 9600 baud rate, 8 data bit length, and 2 stop bits with no parity. We can easily change any of these settings in Halcogen to create a customized peripheral driver. The next portion of Halcogen that I would like to highlight is the integrated help. 
This window contains additional information that can help you use Halcogen and its generated code. Inside the Help window, we can see a list of all the generated files that Halcogen can create. If we click on these files, we can see all of the file dependencies and all of the functions that are included in these files. This Help section also includes information about what needs to be passed to the generated functions. The Help section also includes some examples that you can view. These examples give step-by-step -step instructions on how to configure Halcogen and what code will be needed to be entered into the integrated development environment to complete the example. The final step in using Halcogen is to generate code. To do this, we select File, Generate Code. Halcogen will now generate all the startup and peripheral drivers that are needed to import into Code Composer Studio or other IDE. There are a number of online resources available where you can go to get more information about Hercules microcontrollers. The first is the Hercules web pages that are on TI.com. Here you can download official device data sheets, technical reference manuals, and application notes. You can download software like Halcogen, NowFlash, and the High End Timer Integrated Development Environment. You can also order development kits through the TI eStore from these web pages. The next online resource that is at your disposal is the TI Engineer to Engineer Support Forum. Here you can find the latest news and announcements about Hercules MCUs, in addition to searching for technical content about Hercules. There is a team of applications engineers available to answer questions posted to this forum. The final web-based resource is the Hercules Wikis. These sites feature how-to guides, introduction videos, and general information about Hercules MCUs. The wikis contain useful information like development kit, board schematics, and training content. I hope that you have found this video useful. Thank you for watching.